67 Fender Pro Reverb Band. When it came in, the first thing we noted is that every single piece of the amp was bone stock. However, it wouldn't turn on, wasn't working. What could it be? <clears throat> Upon checking, we found out one of the original GE tubes, black plates, was dead. So, we scored another original one of the uh, black plate of the same year, and when we put it in and attempted to bias it, lo and behold, it biased up coincidentally right down to within a fraction of a milliamp of the other one. It was almost a perfect match. So here we have a match set of original NOS tubes, one of which was born in this amp. So all tubes, everything in the amp is totally stock, and uh, it cosmetically is real clean. Uh, the grill cloth obviously is a, a little bit uh, smoked, as they always would be at this particular age. Allegedly in the uh, closet of an old lady. It sounds like a car commercial, doesn't it? But uh, anyway, that's what we have here. Um, I'm just running a cord into the amp. Um, the volume is on about four. Controls are set pretty flat, bright switch is off. If I turn on the bright switch, we've got a real nice. collection. Uh, it's probably one of the, the finest sounding pro reverbs I, I believe we've ever had or I've ever heard. And there you have it. <laughs> 